I'm joined by Naoya Tsurumi, who's an executive director at Sega, Sammy. Good morning. So uh, what games are you showing off here? What have people got to look forward to at the game show? All right, good morning. It's a welcome to Sega Booth. It's a, you know, this Christmas is a bankish. It's a, one of the biggest titles for us. And the Sonic as well. We are planning to release in a uh, platform. So it's a, these two titles in the worldwide base is a, you know, our main title. Now, we have a lot of new platforms, a lot of new gadgets. You have Connect, you have Move, you have 3D. You were just showing me Sonic on, on the iPhone 4. What are the dominant platforms that you're gearing your games toward? Ah, oh, that is a very difficult question there. Is that this Christmas, is a, you know, two new platforms is a coming. Is a Kinect and the Move. Is a, we are supporting a Sonic is a for the, you know, uh, Kinect and also is the iPhone. And, uh, you know, basically our concept, our strategy to support for the all of the platform. So budget tennis is, a, you know, basically for Move, especially with the, you know, 3D technology. That could be the one with the mandatory for the, our video game business. You mentioned 3D. You're, you're one of only two companies at the game show with Sony showing off a 3D game people can actually play. Given there's so few games and Sony wants to launch at the end of the year, why, why do you think developers are not making more 3D? Ah, it's a wonder issue there. 3D TV just was released is a this year. So this is the install base is a very important for us. So I hope is a all of a TV company is a, you know to be succeed to sell either you know more TV you know 3D TV in the worldwide. So maybe next year and the following year it could be the mandatory for the video game our publisher as well. So how much of your your total game development resources are you devoting to 3D games? To be honest, I'm not engineer. I have no. I don't know that in detail technology-wise, but as far as I know, it's not so much difficult to make in the t uh, 3D technology on the you know, video game. So, so, so would it be 10% of your games in the future will be 3D? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, at least 10%. Maybe it's a more than more than the 10%, especially for US and the European market. It, uh, that could be the mandatory for the PS3 and the 360. Don't you think, though, uh, that after Avatar, that maybe the novelty has worn off, that this may be just a flash in the pan going forward? People prefer more the game than the three-dimensional quality? One big issue there, exactly the same as, uh, you know, uh, TV business. Number one problem is, you know, we need a still glass there on the living room. But the other day, it's a Toshiba announced that we got the glass. So that kind of you know situation will be changed. So our technology follow to the, that kind of te uh, technology. I don't think that is a no big pro problem there. You have 56 new titles this fiscal year, 10 fewer than last year. Why focus on making fewer games? That is a business decision there. Uh, you know, since two years ago, after the recession, is a US, especially US and the European market, tougher and tougher. So just we focus to you know more existing IP, existing you know our own IP rather than the new IP. So it's our strategy is going well today, especially in Japan is you know very very successful. We are you know making the profit more and more. You signed a deal with KT Freetel to do an online football game in South Korea. Yeah. What's the future of online gaming uh, as far as Sega Sam is concerned in Asia? And how concerned are you about the piracy issue? You, uh, China and the Korean market is online gaming is you know every year grown up there. Then it's uh, it's very hard to make, uh, sell is a package good there because of a copy problem. Then the online is the one of the only solution to you know avoid this uh, you know uh, piracy problem. So we are now talking with a few you know is a China China publisher there. So we believe that is a Korean and the China market will be the, our post market, will be the expand our business. Okay, now yet, Tsunumi, thank you very much for joining me today.